Walk us through this deal. So this deal is part of Apple's billion dollar pledged fund to invest in manufacturing in America. Obviously this has come on the heels of President Trump and his proclamations about everything needing to be manufactured in the U.S. So they're investing $390 million in a Texas based company called Finisar. They make lasers that they can put in a bunch of different products from the AirPods, the little black you know circles you see inside the AirPods, those are lasers shooting into your ears so they know they're in your ears. So when you take them out of your ears, they stop playing, you put them back, they continue playing. It's a laser used for face ID, so it can recognize your face. So it's an extremely important component for Apple's latest you know, string of products. And it's currently in the iPhone 10. Uh, they're currently using sensors like Finisar makes in the iPhone 10. Now they're going to be investing in it. They're sort of going to, sort of going to put a chokehold on that market of sensors so they can use them in other products down the road. So how many jobs are they creating here? Lots of jobs. What's happening here is with the $390 million, Finisar is going to be able to reopen a plant in Texas that had previously shut down. Now they're going to be able to rehire a bunch of people to work at that facility. Will this alleviate any supply chain challenges? You know, that's a good question. In, in, in a sense, yes, because that amount of money, the $390 million, is going to ensure that that amount of money is invested in those components that Apple will need. They're going to be able to work years ahead on them. So. Right now, this tech is being used in the, the Animoji technology as well. Explain that. So the technology, the lasers, is based in Face ID, and that replicates with Animoji. So if you have an iPhone 10, it could scan your face. It knows it's you. Then the sensor, the lasers, could also be used for Animoji, so it knows your facial structure. If you're opening your mouth, if you're smiling, if you are shaking your head. But like I said, it's also used for the AirPods as well. So there's broad uh, applications for the tech. Gene Munster is saying that the deal gives Apple a competitive advantage when it comes to AR. Would you agree? Absolutely. Apple has actually been ahead of the pack in terms of AR. They are one of the first companies to recognize the importance of AR over VR for smartphones and glasses and such. And so what you're seeing here is Apple really investing even more deeply in this technology, more than you've seen other companies like Samsung or Google do in recent history. We reported earlier this week, you reported on Apple buying Shazam. How does this new news um, give us more insight into their M&A strategy? I mean, are, are they on a spree? So you see, actually, that's a good question because you see two different paths happening right now. You're seeing Apple doing more investments, technological investments, in order to prepare for its future, but also, you know, big time acquisitions such as what we saw with Shazam. Shazam, they bought the whole company, the technology, the people, and the resources. They're going to integrate it in the company. So that's one arm of the M&A strategy. The other arm are these big investments, not full on acquisitions, but giving companies money in order for them to have enough resources to build components that Apple needs down the road. So you think we'll see more of this? I think we'll definitely see mo more on, on both paths.